Hello and welcome to number 15, Craigon in Tubertascon, Ennis County Clare. Located in this very much sought after town centre location, just a short stroll to every possible amenity with Ryan Centre just up the road here on the right hand side, you have St. Flannan's College and Ennis National School just down here. Uh, St. Flannan's is about 300 metres and Ennis National School about 800 or 900 metres. The property as you can see is positioned on the front row on a corner site and has ample off street parking via the brick paved drive. You have your dry stone uh, wall here to the front with your lawn area here to the right hand side as well. Your adjoining garage, gated side access at both sides to your rear gardens and of course five bedrooms in this stunning detached home. So let's take a look at the inside of number 15 Craig On. So on entering the main entrance doorway, you're into the bright and spacious entrance hall with the kind of lined oak style timber flooring, your staircase with the glazed side, glazed side panelling leading to the first floor landing and that incorporates ample understair storage. You have your recessed ceiling lighting and then your frosted glazed doors. The one here to the left hand side leads into the adjoining garage and straight ahead of us is into the kitchen dining and the door here to the right hand side into the main reception. Into the main reception and you will note the continuation of the flooring uh, throughout the ground floor. Very very smart way of finishing the home and of course this living room having the bay window out onto those front gardens and again giving you a nice idea as to the location. The maturity of Tubertascon, as I said the amenities that are so close by, you have Ennis Bus and Rail, just a short walking distance and when I say short walking distance, you're no more than 900 to 1,000 metres. You're equally about 1,200 metres from O'Connell Street, the Old Ground Hotel, uh, and so much more. I mean, this really is your fantastic town centre home, while having ease of access, of course, to the M18 with the roundabout at the Clare Castle side of the town, again, which is about 12 to 1,400 metres away from this home. So back into the main reception, and this door here is in from the entrance hallway. Apologies for the flickering, it's just the LED lightings reacting to the camera. Then you have your solid fuel integrated stove with the polished marble flag. Again, a nice side window just to give you that natural light. And I've opened up the French doors here just to give you a nice sense of how the open plan and the layout of the ground floor really works. The dining area, uh, the fridge is positioned here temporarily, but just so that you know, the fridge does position in here via an integrated You'll be putting your integrated fridge freezer in here. Again, you've no shortage of all your uh, built-in units and you can see the quality of the finishes as well. From your integrated um, integrated dishwasher, your, your fan-assisted oven, your hot plate here, your tiles dash back surround, you can see it, uh, the connection via, again, a frosted door out into the um, utility. And of course, open plan into your dining area with really smart overhead lighting and then the connectivity out onto your back garden via the sliding patio door. And again, to give you a peek at the garden, you can see the privacy, the nice high walls, the mature trees to the rear and your patio area just very, very nicely enclosed. No house that directly behind you. Uh, and that's the green area or part green area just at the end of the top of the scone inner development there as well. So that's your kitchen dining and the wash and basin again has your mixer tap, great outlook out the window, your ceramic hob extractor fan here and then you're out into the utility and the utility is a super super size, finished exactly to the same quality as you saw in the kitchen. The space and plumbing for your washing machine and dryer, you can see it's designed for the stacked unit. Uh, again that continuation of the flooring, the connectivity out into the rear gardens and then Nicely positioned here off of the utility is your ground floor shower room. Typical with the low level WC, the wash hand basin, your shower tray with the overhead uh, pump shower, your fold away glass panel shower door and your quality ceiling uh, to floor tiling around the shower unit. And again, the tiling continuing here for the kickerboard and the flooring as well. So very, very nice flow to your ground floor and then back into the hallway. I won't bring you into the garage, you'll leave that for your on-site view, but the garage is positioned here. And again, the garage is very nicely finished uh, and pretty much 
uh, almost ready for conversion if somebody wished, wished to do that. As we head up the first, onto the first floor, you have five bedrooms at this uh, first floor level. We'll say three positioned to the rear of the home because you have a bedroom here to the left as you come up the landing. You have two here then positioned to the, to the rear of the house again. Bathroom in the middle, your hot press housing immersion tank and shelving here. And then you have two other bedrooms here out to the front of the house with the master bedroom, of course, being en suite. So we'll start with the one here. We'll go in a clockwise direction. And kind of when you come in, you have a, a right hand space here, which is ideal for your study desk or a little seating area, whatever you want to make in this room, because you have a fine double room then on the left hand side as you come in. So it kind of runs the depth of the of the house or overhead the garage space. Um, so if you're trying to identify that from the front, there is no window in the front of this. Obviously, it's to the rear and it's overhead the garage space. Again, you can see the quality of the doors, the skirting, the architraves, the handles, again, your carpet, everything done to a very, very good standard. Uh, and as we continue down the first floor, floor hallway, we're into another bedroom here on the left hand side. Again, nice double room. Another double bedroom here then uh, beside it. Again, great, great size, with very nice proportions. Your main bathroom here in the middle and the bathroom, of course, having your low level WC, your washroom basin, your panel bath, your wall and floor tile, an electric shaver point and light. And look, if somebody wished to extend the tiling around to make it fully tiled, it's each to their own, as I said. But again, you've great quality fi fixtures and fittings. Uh, and this really is your turnkey home. Then into the master bedroom. Again, if you wanted to place wardrobes, built-in wardrobes, this is the ideal space to do it because you've that nice indentation to do so. And then you're left with your enormous room. Absolutely super master bedroom with that bay window jutting out the front here as well, uh, out onto the front gardens. And then your ensuite off of this. And again, the ensuite very nicely finished and once again, nice and spacious. The tiling on the floor, your low level WC wash and base with the mixer tap. And then here you have that ceiling to floor tiling with the electric shower overhead, the sliding glass panel shower door. Just again, very, very tastefully done. And then finally rounding off the internal accommodation is bedroom number five, positioned here to the front of the house. Again, this is, this is the smallest room in the house and still a fine, fine room. Uh, you have your built-in kind of uh, shelving unit behind the door here on the right hand side, which takes in this space just over the stairs. Uh, so this would make an ideal home office, nursery, whatever you want to make it, but you've certainly no shortage of rooms uh, in this five bedroom detached in Craig on in, in Ennis County Clare. So if you would like to arrange a viewing of number 15, we will be delighted to show you this stunning home. Please do feel free to call us on 065-684-0200 or email us info at dngosullivanhurley.com. Thank you very much for watching.